Brewing Company is located in the historic downtown Monroe. Really cool downtown, historic, a lot, lot going on, plenty of things that could go on. Um, so that's kind of the spot. We found a really good location downtown for our tap room that had parking and uh, it was just kind of a no-brainer for us. We have a ton of regulars, uh, get a lot of new customers all the time, so that's, that's really cool. Gatliff and his team brew the beer five minutes away in a warehouse. The beer is made in a two to three week process of mashing grain, boiling water with the grain, collecting sugar water, rinsing it out, adding hops and yeast, fermenting the beer, and adding dry hops. A full tour will be available in a separate video. We do 930 gallons at a time. Uh, sometimes we'll do less, but that's the maximum capacity. It's 30 barrels. Another part of the process for Gatliff is designing the beer cans, which are canned at the warehouse and sold at Southern Range, as well as some areas in North and South Carolina. The brewery has an indoor and outdoor seating area, a stage, games, television, a family and dog friendly environment, and a variety of beers on tap. They're known for their IPAs, but they try to make something for everyone. Okay, so I'm with my friend Richard and Christina. Um, we're at Southern Range Brewery in Monroe. We're going to try the beers that they recommend to us and let you know what we think. Good. Good. It's sweet. Oh, this is a sweet IPA. Very fruity. <laughs> fruity. What's in the cookie dough? Mm -hmm. Jewish, but like it's fine. I'm gonna share. I like that one. It's really sweet, isn't it? It is really sweet, but I usually don't like IPAs, so it's like good for someone who doesn't really like IPAs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, exactly. That's yeah, what yeah. It is. if you like yeah. like something that's like not too strong, mm -hmm. if you're like not an IPA gal or guy, it's, it's 2019. Extremely sweet for an IPA. When you guys are in position at the end, this one's good. I like this one too. <laughs> this one could turn me into an IPA girl. They're pretty good IPAs. Yeah. They're different. He said they're known for their IPAs. Sweet. Sweet. You know it. Which was that one? Sour. <laughs> I like sour. That's a true IPA. It's marvelous. <laughs> this one's confusing. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I don't like that one's your favorite. Oh, yeah, I'm that one on your side. You're nurturing them. You can definitely smell the guava in this. Neapolitan style. Okay. Neapolitan. 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 I think it's Neapolitan. 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 This is really good. The pinky ring bling is definitely the best one okay. so far. I'd say that one was the one that was dangerous. 11%? Is that. Have you even heard of one that's that high? What's yeah. the highest beer yeah, they, content? They Fun game. Let's see if I can guess which one this is. <laughs> this is the hoppy one, the really hoppy one. Popsicles. 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 Favorite one? I have to go with the pinky ring blink. Cookie dough. The sour. Well, so, okay, so overall thoughts on like the vibe here. I know there's not a lot of people here right now, but like, what do you think is like compared to other breweries in the uptown Southside area? Uh, very laid back. It'd be so easy to throw an event here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like their games. Yeah, very kid friendly, very dog friendly. Yeah. So definitely recommend it for family events. Thank you so much to Southern Range Brewing for partnering with us on this video. If you want to learn more about them, you can visit their website right here. And be sure to leave a comment down below of your favorite brewery and your favorite beer so we know what to try next time. Bye!